In this video, we're going to have a look at how to use the t-substitutions to help us solve integrals. So what we do with the t-substitutions is not really any different to any other type of substitution. We're going to start by saying, let t be equal to 10 of x on 2. So this is the half angle results. So let t equal 10 x on 2. And then the process here is pretty much the same as any other substitution. We need to differentiate. So dt on dx is equal to, when we differentiate 10, we get sex squared. So sex squared of x on 2, but we also have to multiply by the inside derivative, which is a half. So we can write that out the front. All right, but we want to change everything so that it's in terms of t and not x. So what we're going to do is we're going to exploit the fact that sex squared is equal to 1 plus tan squared. So this is 1 plus tan squared of x on 2. And then, well, we know what tan squared x on 2 is. That's just going to be t squared because t equals tan x on 2. So this is 1 plus t squared. So we have dt on dx is equal to a half of 1 plus t squared. Now let's rearrange that to get dx equals something because that's what we're going to use for our substitution. Okay, so when we rearrange that, we get dx equals 2 times dt over 1 plus t squared. All right, so we can now make the substitution for dx. So this part of our integral is now accounted for. But now we also have to look at the cos x part. Well, what is cos x? Well, if t is equal to tan x on 2, we know from extension 1, these are just the half angle results, we know that cos of x is going to be equal to 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. Okay, and similar things can be done with sine and tan. We have some results for those as well that we can use if they were part of our integrand. But they're not, we're just dealing with cos x. So now we can go ahead and substitute in everything. So for our integral, just call it i, we're looking at integrating 1 over 3 plus 5 times cos of x, which is 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared, times dx. But what is dx? dx is 2 over 1 plus t squared dt. Okay. So on the numerator, we have 1 times 2 which is just going to be 2. In the denominator, what do we have? We have 3 times 1 plus t squared. So we're distributing 1 plus t squared into both terms of the denominator in the first fraction. So we do 3 times 1 plus t squared. And then you'll see that, let's change color so we can see it. You'll see that this 1 plus t squared will cancel with that one there when we multiply those two terms. So we're actually only just left with 5 into 1 minus t squared dt. Okay, let's continue. Simplifying the denominator, we'd have 3 plus 5, which will give us 8. And then we have 3t squared minus 5t squared, which will be minus 2t squared dt. We can divide top and bottom by 2, and we get 1 over 4 minus t squared. And so now we get to a point where we'd have to use partial fractions. And I'm not actually going to do the partial fraction decomposition in the video, but what we're going to end up with is a quarter over 2 minus t plus a quarter over 2 plus t dt. Okay, so that's just by partial fraction decomposition. And now these are pretty simple to integrate. We're going to have minus a quarter log of 2 minus t plus a quarter log of 2 minus t. Now, since these are both logs, and they both have a coefficient of a quarter, we can combine them. So it's going to end up being a quarter log of, that should be a plus, by the way, 2 plus t over 2 minus t, and then plus a constant. But we're not done here because this integral, this answer, is given in terms of t. We have to substitute back in terms of x. So that would be a quarter 
log of 2 plus tan of x on 2 divided by 2 minus tan of x on 2 plus c. And now that is our final answer.